So now we're going to take a look at uh, something called selection sets. And uh, these are more than just being able to select things to make the life easier. There's also our display group and our channel uh, pinning for our channel scoping. So uh, the one thing you'll notice up here is you may not have all these uh, folders that I do. Uh, what it is here, we'll just take a look at selection sets. I'm just going to close this down. And what you can do to bring them up so that they have easy access is if you hit this little plus sign, you go new pane type. And then you can go to animation and apex selection sets you can click that on and if you want to you can move it to the beginning here and there we go now we have that uh selection sets available to us now you also notice that we have uh, hud right here uh for selection sets um that we'll uh we'll take a look at after but when we're setting them up uh, there's more options in um, the actual pane uh, than our heads up display that we have in our viewport. So we'll get to this in a moment. So the first thing I want to do is if I want to set up a set so I can grab all of our fingers. And if I go in here, I can right click and create set from selected. And in here, if I double click on it, I can type in L underscore fingers. Now, what I normally do, just to make it easier on me, is, is we can hide the controls here. We can also change the display of the character, hide it in that at all. But I'm just going to turn these off. So I could see what, now I can see what um, I've already done. They're no longer visible there. Um, and so if I wanted to do the arm, let's just select this whole arm here. I'm going to right click in here and go again, create set from selected. And I'm going to call this left arm. And you can just decide however you want it. I like naming this with a capital L or a capital R underscore and then what it is in here. Um, and what we can do now is if we wanted to, we can create, right click on there and create an empty set. And I'm going to call this L underscore and just to name it differently, uh, I'm just gonna call it full arm. So instead of me selecting things and doing it here, let me just turn these off so we can see that that's been done. Um, and actually I missed one in here. What we could do is we could select it and then we can go into the arm and we can right click on there and we can go to um, add selected to set or you can remove it if you wanted to as well. And now if we turn this on and off, now that's uh, part of it there. Um, and if we open this up, we can also see all the, these are all the controls that are in there. So you can always take a look and see what's uh, in there. And this will be useful later on when we start setting up a primary control. So um, as I said, I have my left arm, left fingers, and um, I have an empty set here. So instead of me selecting, if I wanted that full arm, instead of me selecting the fingers and the arms and making a whole new one, what I could just do is uh, control select these, and then I could just drag it in. And now I have the folder in there, so I have my full arm. So when I select it and I turn this on, they all come on. But we still have the individual groups in here as well. Now, I could go through here and uh, do the exact same thing for the, uh, for the right side. But what we can also do here is take a look at our mirror. So if we click on the mirror, we go Edit Mirror Remap Patterns. And what this is, this is generally uh, depending on what your studio's naming convention are. Some studios have the capital L, some have LT. Um, it all depends on there. What I normally do for lecture is I just type uh, star wildcard. So it's everything before um, underscore R underscore L and then everything after. And this just sets it up per your studio, however it is. And the lecture set up this way. So you can just do this, hit OK. Now, the next thing we could take a look at is edit set name remap patterns. And what this is, is like I said, I'd like to name it capital L underscore and then something. If you have a different naming convention you like, you just small L do it. You could do that as well. But you can see my sets all have capital L on here. And um, so this would be right. So I'm going to mirror from the left side to the right side with my naming here. Now, <clears throat> with this selected, what I could do is go mirror, mirror selected sets. And you can see it's created an R full arm uh, there. So it's just mirrored the sets. You can see they're selected. And if I turn these off, they're now turned off. And if you look inside, it's also changed the name for the, uh, of the individual pieces in there as well. So really quickly, we've been able to, to mirror it. So you could do the same thing for the, uh, the legs. And, um, and then obviously, there's no L and R for the center of the spine and everything. So. Um, so there we go, we have that all set up. Now you don't wanna be doing this 
every single time you start a shot. So what we have here is we can um, take these sets and if I wanted to, I can create another empty set and I can just call this Electra. And then I could take these two in here and move them all in here. And now I just have the one uh, set in here, but if you open it up, you have all the pieces inside. So if I want to, I could select this and I can go file and I can go export sets to file. So once you have it set up once, you're done, you got your setup, uh, you can just save it out. And then if you want to, what we can do is import sets from file. And here I have uh, my selection sets set up. There's Electra version seven sets that I have. And I could just select on that, hit answer, and then I can select the characters to apply it to. Now, if I click on this, you can see my Electra character, and that's because I named it Electra here. So if I named it something else, it would have a different name here. Now I can click on that, hit accept, and you can see it's made in Electra 2 that I have. I should have deleted this one first, but you can select this, uh, right click on it and uh, delete set. And if I wanted to, I could just double click on this and just get rid of that too, so we have that naming. So now we have our uh, selection set set up. Um, this is the way I have it set up, and you can keep on growing it as you want, depending on your shot. Uh, but we can go over this um, in the next little bit as we start walking through how to use your selection sets now that they've been all set up.